Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolf Reactions. Today we're going to be talking about Block Wars 13. As this team has been updated, there's a substitute. I assume it's already revealed in the thumbnail, but I'm going to pretend like it's not and talk in a way where it seems like it's going to be a big reveal. So let's pretend like we don't know who's the sub yet, guys. Uh, who? I don't know. I didn't uh, see the thumbnail before recording, so I guess we're going to find out together. Anyways, guys, um, if you didn't know already... Uh, in Florida, there was a hurricane. I think the hurricane's name was Milton. I <laughs> don't know who picked that one. Um, but the hurricane affected some uh, people and some people not as much. Um, main thing that people were affected by is a loss of power, as in like electricity power. Um, not sure if that's why Red, spoiler, Radunes is not available uh, to play anymore. However, um, Radunes is not uh, available to play anymore. I talked with him about this, so I'm going to explain what happened. Okay, I talked with him about this. Um, he, he gave me a heads up saying, hey, uh, Florida, um, I may not be uh, able to play anymore because Hurricane. I was like, okay, gotcha. Thank you for letting me know. He said, I might be able to play an attempt setup though, but I'll do worse. And I was like, Red, I'm going to be completely honest. I think your team is one of the weaker ones right now. Not by a lot, but slightly. And if you are not going to be able to perform very well, that might be a little bit detrimental to your team. Not to say that you need to lock in, but like, you know, uh, I talked with Anthos as well. And uh, we, we came to the consensus that um, if Red is unable to perform at his um, normal expected ability, which to be fair, when the teams were made, we didn't know there was going to be a freaking hurricane. Um, when the teams were made, obviously. Uh, so we, Anthos and I talked, and we were like, hey, uh, um, maybe if Red can't play at his uh, full capability, then we should uh, look into doing uh, figuring out a substitute because if uh, the team is that much weaker, it'll probably not be as fun of, a, of an experience, especially for like, I think Anthos and Shadoon are a bit more competitive leaning players. So uh, obviously having a, an eighth place team is fine, but getting dogged on would be not very fine. Um, so... We wanted to make sure that the team could be at least fair-ish. Um, so that's what it is now. Because the substitute is Fruit Berries. Fruit Berries sub. Um, you know, I'll say I'll reveal this too. Uh, <laughs> when Anthos and I were talking about hypothetical subs, we were thinking, oh, who could we really put as a sub here? And and, and blah, 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 whatever. Um, I cannot really reveal why certain people's... Uh, or what people's uh, availability was or whatnot and why certain people were not an option. Um, we forgot that we didn't ever really talk to Fruit for Block Wars for this one. We didn't check if he was available during signups. Didn't sign up. Didn't really speak to Fruit. Um, but he was around and he fits really well on this team. Obviously, him and Anthos have teamed. Him and Quite have teamed. Him and Shadun have teamed in MCC. So there's a lot of cohesion here. So I think the sub will work. Very nice. And I saw some people uh, kind of freak out. Uh, uh, Anthony Curryway and uh, and and others uh, saying, hold on, Fruit Berries for Dunes, that's kind of crazy. I don't think it's like that insane. Not that it's like bad or, or like, not saying that it's like necessarily equal or like necessarily worse or, or whatever. Like, I think it is a slight improvement, but Fruits only played Block Wars like three times or twice, or something like, no, he's played like, like three times, maybe four if you include Chaos, sorry, uh, however, Chaos is kind of one, it's an anomaly in terms of scoring, um, and, and who did uh, what, I know they got the finale, I don't know if it matters, because they were playing on a freaking controller, on a team of five against teams, of, and a teams of six in the finale, like, who, whatever, man, um, so, I think Fruit compared to Red is comparable, I'd say Fruit is slightly better in terms of movement. I think Red could be better, maybe in terms of PvP. However, I'm not fully confident on that. Anyways, it'll be fun to see how Fruit does in this event. I think this team will be very nice, and hopefully it's better than Fruit's last team, which I think should be the case. Hopefully. Anyways, that's all regarding this team. Um, another heads up, Block Wars 13 update video will come out today in uh well as of me recording an hour and a half and as of this video going up probably an hour so check out the block Wars youtube channel for that when that gets revealed and i will not be making a video about it maybe tomorrow i'll do like a, everything to know about block Wars, blah, blah blah whatever recap maybe not i don't know we'll see 
Um, but yeah, blockbuster of the video. As should be pretty obvious, and it's also in the description, I just realized Party is back for this event. I think it was already clear because of the tweets and whatever. Party returns. Um, we'll see what, what, uh, what else is in store for this event. Uh, maybe you'll see something cool. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. As much as I literally like watched the update video already and already... Uh, had to put my little check mark approval on it. I forgot what's in the thing. You guys now should realize why I lose block wars. I don't pay attention <laughs> to anything. I just make the event and then I go, cool, we made it. And then I'll be like, wait, how does that work again? I don't know. I, I, I don't pay attention. Anyways, uh, another thing that I should mention before we end, uh, mostly irrelevant to block wars. There was a Mogul Mail anniversary, it's two year anniversary of um, Wolfie Mogul Mail that I set an alarm for and forgot about it, or I set a reminder for rather, and I forgot about it. Um, I might make a, a video addressing the anniversary of Mogul Mail, but probably not. So I will just put it in here for now because um, there's a chance I'll forget to talk about it. But Wolfie Mogul Mail, two, year, two years of Mo Wolfie Mogul Mail now. Um, very nice, very cool. And uh, it's helped me a lot as a person and a content creator. And also I feel like uh, it has been relatively successful for the niche that I'm in, considering when I started making um, Mogul Mail content, I feel like the Minecraft event scene was, like, less popular than it is, uh, or more popular than it is now, sorry, uh, because of MCC mostly. However, I feel like what's happened is um, the core audience of Minecraft events is stronger, but there's less people. But what's important to note is that uh, regardless of popularity, the Mogul Mail channel still pulls the viewership that it did when I first launched it, when MCC was way bigger in terms of um, uh, whatever, uh, the, the, the players and, and whatnot. This is when like Rainboos and Philzas would play every event. So yeah, puts it into perspective how, uh, how different things were. But we're still standing strong, so thank you all for, for that. I, I, I be moguling my mail all, every day when I can. I didn't do it yesterday because I didn't have any to talk, anything to talk about because I forgot about the anniversary. I would have made an anniversary video. Um, either way, I plan to keep going. Obviously, um, I, I make money from this. It's nice, a cool, cool little bit of money. Nothing that I could live off of, but it's fine. I, I have fun with it. That's the main priority. Um, also, I've been picking up streaming a lot, so that's been fun too. Um, I actually, for any of you that are still watching and you don't watch my Twitch and you want to hear me yap and talk more and be silly, please follow my Twitch for streams. I stream almost every single day. You would not believe it. I'm the bingo aficionado right now because MCCI hates my ass and I'm laggy. Heads up, by the way. I'm just, my brain is rambling off and, and, and yapping. Um, last thing, I will just keep it at this. Uh, there's a chance that I may be obstructed in terms of playing Block Wars tomorrow. Um, not that I necessarily won't, like, be able to show up, obviously. It's more that I might be laggy, because I think the server provider from Block Wars or how it's handled is similar to that of MCCI. So there's a chance that I won't be able to, like, properly play We'll see, I guess. Thankfully, I am good, so finding a sub for my skill level should be fine in case necessary. But just a heads up, there's a possibility that my ass is getting kicked off of the Minecraft server every two seconds. Or maybe I'll be completely fine. I don't know. So we're going to find that tomorrow. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you're excited for Fruitberry uh, game, uh, gameplay inclusion. Uh, I am genuinely a little bit upset about Red getting subbed out. Because Red and Quiet was a really cool duo concept, and also Red deserves to play. Um, I'm going to give a heads up. There's, there's a pretty good chance Red won't be in the November event, but I'll try to put him in like two or three times in a row if I can uh, w with whatever is, is post-November. Um, I already said what it is, but I'm not going to say it on YouTube in case people don't know for the surprise factor. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.